All right, so we're going to be making this render right now. Um, and so this is the edited version. If I just go back, you're going to see, well, not this one. Um, yeah, this one is the unedited version uh, of this render. And I edited it on my iPhone. So I'm just going to be showing you some basic editing. Uh, and probably we're going to be doing it in Photoshop or um, an online editing software, right? But you can use any editing software if you want. All right, so let's begin with the modeling part. Uh, so firstly, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to be opening Blender. Oops. Yeah, so... We just used a cylinder and we extruded it out and then we made the inside of it and then we can just model out the rest of the shape and it's pretty easy to model to be honest um it's not that hard right so uh, i'm just going to be opening a brand new project delete everything Control s to save it i'm going to name it perfume new ss right save blender file and now we can get started with the modeling so firstly what i'm going to do is that i'm going to add um, a mesh which is going to be a cylinder and so with a cylinder we can just basically make out the, uh, make the um basically make the generic shape of this bottle right so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to be selecting the cylinder and i'm just going to go to edit mode and then we can just go to the front view and press alt z on your keyboard to go into extra mode or you can just press this button right here uh so that we select both sides of the vertices right i'm just going to press gz to ex extend it something like that i think should be good uh, you can use the reference if you want uh, and in fact i would recommend you to use the reference you can just simply go to um, Pinterest or any other uh, website and then you can just search for let's say perfume and I would I would also recommend you to use um, another uh, style for the perfume just don't uh, just don't copy this one uh, you can just get inspiration from Pinterest and you can make whatever style which you want and you can just simply search for perfume side view uh, to get some references you can just copy any of these if you want um and yeah you can, you can take inspiration from them or you can simply model them on your own as well that's your choice all right so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to be extruding this out press e with all those vertices selected something like that should be good and i'm just going to scale it down to make it smaller gz just move it down a little bit and yeah that is going to be our basic shape of the perfume now we can simply go ahead and um add a subdivision surface modifier so i'm just going to go to my modifiers and a subdivision surface modifier it's going to look absolutely trash so i'm just going to increase the levels viewport to three and the render to three as well All right so now what we're going to be doing is that let me first create uh, let me first go to face select mode and let's select the bottom face and inset it slightly by pressing i on my keyboard just slightly something like that and then inset it again to get rid of those shading issues something like that should be good make sure that there are no shading issues if there are, then you can insert it even more. You can just scale it down. Um, that's going to affect your si side edges as well. So you can add loop cuts, right? So now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to be adding a loop cut right there by pressing Control R on my keyboard and just dragging it up, something like that. Let's go to the side view. And let's add a loop cut right there as well to make this edge a, a little more sharp. I think something like that should be good. Now what we can do is that we can simply select the face, uh, this face by going to the face select mode. And let's press control uh, let's press alt r on my keyboard and now with this face selected i'm, I'm simply going to press e and i'm going to extrude it inside so that we create the inside part of this bottle as well now if i just go to my render you're going to see that it is pretty um close to that and we have um, a glass part down there uh, so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to be extruding it this much scale it up something like that or maybe we can move it up slightly and then extrude it again and now we can start scaling it up Something like that should be good. Yeah, and now we can just simply extrude it again like that. And that should be good. Extrude it one more time. And then we can inset it to get rid of those shading issues once and twice. Now, this is the, the modeling part is basically just trial and error. You can just try out different shapes and you can get inspiration from Pinterest. Um, and it's, it is going to be different for all um, uh, for different um perfume shapes so i would recommend you to just spend some time with the modeling and just make sure that your model is pretty good and then you can move on to the next step uh but for now uh this problem the, the one problem which i'm noticing here is that this is very round so i'm just going to be adding a loop cut to the inside layer something like that let's see how it looks now it is still a little too smooth from that part so i'm just going to be adding another loop cut right there i think it looks good and we are going to be adding some loop cuts right there as well because this part is way too um it's way too smooth something like that and maybe something like that because we want it to be pretty sharp right i think that looks pretty good and so that's going to be our basic perfume bottle um and i think it is a little too wide so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to go to uh, i'm going to tab into edit mode 
press A and press S and press Shift Z. Now this is going to scale it down in all axes except for the Z axis. So I can just scale it down slightly, something like that. And I think that should be a good shape for our bottle. Now I think our bottle is done. The only thing which I which I would like to do now is let me just select these inside faces and let me just move them up slightly. GZ, something like that. So that we have more um more of that glass part on the bottom. I think that looks really nice when you're rendering it. Um so uh, although we can obviously make changes later on as well, so just don't stress over the shape too much right now. And so one thing which I'm going to be doing is that I'm going to be adding that um, this little part right there. So this is basically just a few um, faces being uh, extruded inside. So I'm just going to be doing that right now. So let me first just select, double click this edge to select this edge loop. GZ, just move it slightly up. And now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to create another loop cut, something like that. And now let's go to my face select mode. And I'm going to be pressing uh, any of these edges to select that whole uh, face loop like that. And now we can simply extrude it in, just press E and S and just scale it down. Uh, however, the problem with this is that it's way too big, right? So what I'm going to do first is that instead of directly extruding it, I'm just going to press I to insert it and I'm just going to be inserting it slightly like that. And now we can just press E, S and now this is going to scale it down in all axes, but I'm going to press Shift Z so that it only extrudes it in. Uh, uh, it, it only extrudes it, it extrudes it in the y and the z, y and the x axis so i think that looks pretty good uh the only problem which i'm noticing right now is that the stop part is way too smooth so i'm just going to be going to my edge select mode select this edge gz and move it closer press g twice by the way to move your uh, vertices in the same plane now i think the one problem which i'm noticing is that it's way too um tall so i'm just going to be moving this up i think something like that is good however Modeling is mostly just trial and error, so I would recommend you to spend some time with this and just see what looks good and what doesn't. Um, one other thing which I'm going to be doing is that I'm going to be adding a loop cut right there. And I'm just going to be scaling it down slightly to add sort of that curve look to it, which I think looks pretty good when you are rendering it. Right, so I think our bottle is mostly done. We are going to be adding the label later on. Um, and so yeah, uh, let's move on to the next step, which is going to be this bottle, uh, this um, cap. So for the cap, what I'm going to do is that simply I'm just going to create a new cylinder add mesh cylinder gz move it up let's go to the front view scale it down something like that should be i think a good starting point and now i can just simply go to edit mode just press alt z and select the top face move it down something like that should be good something like that should be good and now we're going to simply add a subdivision surface modifier this by the way is this part right here this bottom part and we are going to be adding the main cap on top of it and so just increase the levels viewport to three and three now we can just select this and i can alt or i can press alt r and i can select the bottom face let me just insert it slightly something like that let me just go to my front view for this after inserting it i can just extrude it up actually i think i should have inserted it a little more scale it down something like that should be good i think now extrude it up and you can scale it down as well. Now what this is, what we've done here is that we've basically created that cap sort of thing. Uh, this cap look to it, it has given it that look and which I think looks pretty good. We can maybe select this, uh, this edge loop. Let's just go to the edge select mode first. Let's select this edge loop, this one, and we can maybe scale it down slightly. And we can maybe even add the loop cut right here. Now this part can get a little um, boring and a little confusing for beginners. So I would recommend you to just try, uh, just do some trial and error and just um, play around with the settings and stuff like that. So, and you will eventually get it. It's not that hard to be honest. Just insert it again. Let's add a loop right there to sharpen things up. And one right there as well. Right, so this part is done. Now let's move on to the next part, which is going to be the top gap. And so for that, I'm simply going to be duplicating this one. Shift D on your keyboard, Z to lock it to the Z axis. And just place it slightly above that something like that should be good perfect now we can simply select this alt r edit mode uh, select the top top faces and just move it up something like that and that is perfect all right so our bottle is i think it's good to go already and one thing which i'm going to be doing is that i'm going to be adding a loop cut down there because it it is sort of curving down which is not something i want i want it to be straight flat and i think we are good to go one thing which we can do is we can maybe 
we can move these um uh, this edge loop a little down by pressing G twice on our keyboard and just move it down to uh, sort of unsharpen that edge up there. And we can maybe do this do something similar with that as well. G twice. And so it's just gonna highlight that contour effect a little more and it's gonna look much better. Right, so our bottle is complete. And now we can move on to the next step, which is going to be the texturing.